What's up YouTube? It's your boy Jake here, aka Brush Strokes, and today I'm bringing you a video on my skate deck for Tammy Miller's skate deck competition. So to prep this, um, it came, well first of all, it came with some kind of like a lacquer coating on it, kind of a semi-glossy coating. So first I took some 220 grit sandpaper on my DA, sanded it all down, made sure to get all the edges. I even did the back side just in case I do decide to paint something on that other side. And then I came in with 320 grit sandpaper and I went over the whole thing again. Um, now it does have some little cracks in it and there's a couple little holes and stuff too. Some more little cracking. There's these little pinholes in it. So to get this started and something to paint on, I'm gonna just clear coat it first. Using some 2104 high build clear coat. Got some mixed up here. Get it loaded up in my little LPH 80. We will get this sprayed with either two or three coats of clear coat. All right, so I clear coated this whole board with some high solids clear coat because um, it had some cracks in it and some divots here. And the clear coat did not fill it in. So I had sanded this all back with some 400 grit. And then I took some fiberglass filler. And I filled in those areas, some short strand fiberglass filler filled in those little cracks all over the place here, all the little divots. And then I sanded it down with some 320, I sanded down the fiberglass filler, and then I went over the whole thing with 400 grit. So next up, I'm gonna take a little ducks. Hopefully that's enough. We're gonna reduce it a little bit with just a little bit of mineral spirits. Let me clean this thing down one more time just to be sure. So I'm just gonna do part of it for now. Make sure this works before I spend a whole bunch of time on this.
You know what? We'll just do the whole thing. Might have to go mix up some more sizing here. I'm gonna be real close. Hopefully you can see that. Got it all covered up. Using duck sizing right through the airbrush. All right, so it's been probably 20, 30 minutes. Um, how to check this glue, just run your knuckle against it. When you hear that squeak, it's nice and good. When it's got a nice little tack. I like using vinyl applying gloves to put on silver leaf because uh, this stuff is super thin and it sticks to your it'll stick to your hands and i have the loose leaf stuff here too so i highly suggest getting a transfer leaf if you do get some silver leaf we'll just go ahead and get this laid out
All right, so we got the board all leafed, and this is just gonna be a little experiment. We'll see how this goes. We're taking a piece of 5,000 grit Trizact. I'm gonna fold it in half like this. You can see that you can only see it at certain angles can you guess what I'm gonna do with this yet if you watch my other YouTube videos you might have an idea like my experiment went pretty well I'm really digging how this turned out so far all right it's time to get some color on this bad boy but i think i'm gonna clear coat this first and lock this all down All right, so I got my board all clear coated with some 2104 clear coat. It's been a few days now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this sanded down. I'm using some 400 grit. I'm using 400 grit, that way the paint has some tooth for, for my paint to stick to. Got it all sanded down, blew it off. Now we're just gonna use our Spray Max glass cleaner, get this cleaned up. And we will be ready for paint. booth ready for some clear coat i actually did take an airbrush and go around the edge of the board and paint it all black after this um, before i clear coated it but then i used some wax and grease remover wiped her down and sprayed some 2104 clear coat here it is turned out beautiful board out in the sun really love how this thing turned out um, 
I haven't seen anybody do anything like this before. Um, I actually did take a House of Color class uh, with John Kosmoski and Jim Hetzler. Uh, I brought this board with me because I wanted to show it off to John Kosmoski. And he said, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I had him come over to my car and check it out. And he grabbed it out of my hands and goes, I got to show this to the class. And he took it over and showed the rest of the class. And asked the class, can any of you... Uh, tell how he did this paint job this thing is amazing so stumping custom painters on how i did this was exactly what i had intended doing something completely different off the wall something you've never seen before and this board was for skate deck competition uh, i did go up for auction at the end of the competition uh, there's two bids on it the opening bid was $75, and then one other bid of $100. And there's just no way I could let this thing go for that cheap. So I had my mother buy this back for me. So and I paid her back. But yeah, so this board is still mine. I, I can't let go of it. Hangs in my office, and I love this thing. I just can't wait to do it on a motorcycle or something bigger and better. But until the next one, keep those brushes broken.